Tonight, you guys are going to learn the connection between slope and correlation. And here, some vocabulary correlation is just the relationship between do, two data sets. And as we know, the slope is the rate of change of the line and the steepness of the line. And bivariate data is data for two variables that are related. So negative slope, a linear relationship has negative slope when y decreases as x increases. Graphically, a linear relationship has a negative slope when the line decreases from left to right. The graph to the left has a negative slope because the line decreases from left to right. In other words, it creates a line that you could scale, ski downhill on. So the penguin is skiing downhill on this line that has a negative slope. A linear relationship has positive slope when y increases as x increases. Graphically, a linear relationship has a positive slope when the line increases from left to right. So basically, a graph that has a positive slope is going to look like a, a, a hill that you can ski up on. So like the penguin is skiing up on that line because it has positive slope. Zero slope. A linear relationship has zero slope when y neither increases nor decreases while x increases. Graphically, a linear relationship that has zero slope creates a horizontal line. A horizontal line is a flat line from left to right. The graph to the left has zero slope because the line is horizontal. In other words, it creates a flat surface that the penguin can ski on. Infinite slope. Infinite slope happens when y increases and x stays at one value. Graphically, a linear relationship with infinite slope has a vertical line, and the graph to the left has infinite slope because the line is vertical. In other words, the line creates a hill that is straight up and down that cannot be skied on. If you try to ski on a hill that goes straight up and down, it will not happen. That penguin is going to fall and hit its face on the graph. So positive cor correlation. Bivariate data has positive correlation when both variables increase. So positive correlation is like positive slope. For example, distance and time have a positive correlation because as time increases, so does your distance. Graphically, bivariate data has positive correlation when you can draw a line with positive thro slope through the data. So our graph here... As in the data has, an, has a positive correlation because we can draw a line with positive slope through it. Negative correlation. Bivariate data has negative correlation when one variable increases as the other decreases. For example, speed and fuel efficiency have a negative correlation. The higher your speed, the worse your fuel efficiency is going to be. Graphically, bivariate data has negative correlation when you can draw a line with negative slope through the data. Our example here, the data has a negative correlation because we can draw a line that has a negative slope. No correlation. When bivariate data has no correlation, when there can be no distinguishable relation between the data. So, for example, amount of sleep and your mood have no correlation because there's no distinguishable relationship between an objective measure like hours of sleep and subjective measure like mood. Graphically, bivariate data has no correlation when there's no pattern in the data. No line can be drawn. Like our example, the dots are everywhere so that we cannot draw a line through them. One thing I really want you to take away, and this is you'll hear this when you take statistics, correlation does not mean causation. When two data sets have a correlation, it just means there's some kind of relationship between them, but it does not mean one variable affects the other. For example, there could be a positive correlation between shoe size and GPA, but that does not necessarily mean we can use shoe size to predict someone's GPA. There are other factors that go into someone's GPA. There just happens to be a positive correlation between size and GPA. Another example is that it could be negative correlation between size of television and hours spent watching TV, 
but we cannot predict how much someone's going to watch TV based on the size of their television. There are other factors that go into it. We just saw this correlation. So it's always good to know that correlation does not mean causation. We have to go through other things to prove causation. And that is the end of tonight's notes.